What's up, y'all? It's time for a shitty first look at the Amazing Eternals. So this is a uh, shooter with card game inside from Digital Extremes, the guys that uh, made that game about the Warframe, where you play on the frame of war. Uh, and today is uh, shooter game day for them, so they made a shooter game. So I have four classes, which I can switch to at any time in between dying. Right now we're playing a DPS class. This mode is a uh, point capture mode, where the first point neutral is a neutral is at critical. point. That's why it's his neutral fragment and whatnot. Enemy has siphoned a neutral fragment. So now they have that, and they're gonna head over to the other side. This is a hero shooter, so I have abilities to do things. Uh, my one of the first ones I have here, the native ones, I guess you call them. I've got a heal on my Q. It gives me health, and then I have a shift, which is a. I dive. How does he already have that? Defend oh. your fragment. Your fragment is being siphoned. We're fighting against an enemy team full of enemies in a team. So I can enemy switch it any time. A little Overwatch style. Wow, look at him. He's got like a scope and shit. This guy knows what he's doing. So that's the winter guy. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the combat engineer. Oh, next respawn. Uh, the combat engineer is the guy who just killed me. His thing is to drop turrets. He drops Your turrets. fragment is being drained. So in the Your bottom left, what you'll drained. see is that there are some cards, and if you look at the cards, you'll see they say things on them. Basically, uh, the cards are power-ups. So the cards give you abilities to do things. Uh, like this one has given me an unlimited magazine for my pistol. Enemy is draining so your die, fragment, which I just did. We're getting completely destroyed right now, uh, you know. Do do. Now I can switch. I've switched classes, so now I am in the I'm the engineer class. He has two weapons: ray gun and a pulse pistol to start with, and then he drops a turret. So like Q is to drop turret here, and then I can switch to my blowtorch and upgrade my turret, and then I can die. Uh, my turret will go without me though, so, you know. So if you look at the left, you can see the cards. Uh, the new ones are branded with new card on the top. Your so, fragment is being drained. We have currently only one card, Heat Sink. That other guy had a couple other ones. Now we have two cards. Um, this guy has a jetpack. Enemy is draining your fragment. I'm not even sure how he managed to get that. That's like an end game ability. Your over fragment there. is half drained. They're just completely shrekking us in the face right now. Your fragment is being siphoned. Only one of your fragments remains. It's definitely a bit of an imbalance in the teams here. So you can switch guns back and forth, and you can activate your cards to give yourself additional powers. Some cards are power-ups, some cards are abilities, some cards are uh, affect existing abilities, modifiers. All of them do something. Uh, so, like, the one that I have up right now, Engineering Mastery, fragment. it gives you an additional device, an additional turret, they're called devices, so I'm gonna put one turret here. And we'll upgrade it 100%, which gives it some armor, see that, that yellow is armor. And then once our turret countdown is up, we'll put another one right here. Uh, we have to wait a few seconds, though. It's 11 seconds until we can put up our turret. The enemy team is behind us, of course, because that's where you go if you're the enemy team. Uh, so this will be over quickly, at least. I'll show you the, uh, this is like the ability, my other ability, Disruptor Turret. And then that'll repair and reinforce. I'll try to get this inside the, uh, area here. 
try to repair and upgrade Your it. Final no final fragment is half gone. Oh, one second, Finish and then up. we lose. So there you go. We've now lost. Your last fragment was destroyed. That's basically what uh, the game looks like in a nutshell. Usually, you don't lose quite that quickly. Defeat. So. That was a total loss. The other team was much better than we are. Uh, this is a small group right now in the beta, uh, because it's a beta. Uh, as far as I know, they really only gave out cards to people at PAX. They only gave out beta cards to people at PAX, and then, of course, you can always buy in, because this is a Digital Extremes game. So let's take a look at the board really quick. So in the board, you get these spaces. So you need experience to advance spaces. So I'm on space five. There's 56 spaces. And then you go back to the beginning and go around again. Each of the spaces you advance to does something, usually. Uh, like this one doesn't do anything, but each of the early ones do something. And the way that you advance spaces is by leveling up with experience. So I just got space 5 and it gave me a XP booster for every day I log into the game. Because this is one of those free to play games that it's trying to incentivize you to log in. Now, I can also buy the next space for a certain amount of gold. This one is 300. I have 2400 gold, so we can go. This space will give me 300 gold, and it costs 400 to get there, so kind of silly to buy it. <laughs> so we're not going to. So we've, once again, we've come into a Ally is draining a already running game, which is something I've had a lot of trouble with. It's hard to get into a lobby that isn't already going. So we have a booster. If we press X, we can see what we have. Blowtorch, ray gun, pulse power turret, and jetpack. Um, and that you can do that on any any hero at any time. Almost said champion. Teammate is draining a I don't actually know that these guys have names. A fragment so. is being drained. Last thing I want to do really is call them by the wrong names. Eternals. You can do that on any Eternal. Um, the sort of lore and mythos behind this game is that you are playing, you go into a, you find a board game in the, in the, like, attic. It's Jumanji. It's Jumanji, guys. You find a board game in the attic, and there's a strange crystal, and the board game sucks you in, and you play as the character. It's Jumanji with guns. Um, or Jumanji with a video game, I guess. So that guy, he is a, sh like a shotgunner, like a heavy gunner kind of character. That's why, you know, because he has the scary skull. Um, the game does have headshots, and it does tell me how much damage I'm doing to enemies, so, like, that was 24 damage there. Now, I do not have a heal ability, so I'm gonna... I'm not gonna be... Enemy defense holds strong. ...pushing hard in. Uh, I can use my jetpack for, I guess I'd call them aggressive maneuvers. If I push in the same direction. Let's, uh, we don't have another gun. So we switch to our other gun, but we don't have one. There's the pulse pistol. So now we have a pulse pistol as well. The pulse pistol fires burst of three. I'm not sure what happened there. There was some, some lag. Or maybe not. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. So since we failed to uh, attack their fragment, we are now on defense. Which means that we will have to defend, obviously, our fragment. And the way we do that is by killing our enemies. So I'll put a disruptor turret here. This is like a little vi version of a power up, powered up version of our turret. And it will automatically target enemies. We don't have to do anything. So set it and forget it. I'm about to die, so I'm gonna hide over here. Need to find a health pack. There are health packs sprinkled throughout the map. They're those little the blue arrows that you saw. That sound is a an airstrike. 
Oh, and I got nicked by the airstrike. That's perfect. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it was the pistol that got me. The lag is not good. These guys are a headache and a half. This is a beta, so the game is not done. Do not uh, do not expect people to be paying for this this uh, for the game as it currently stands. It is it is a beta, so and the way you get in if you're interested is there's a ten dollar buy-in right now. Um, but that's if you want it, you can also just sign up for the beta and then hope that you get in. Um, the enemy fragment. Ally is a lot of siphoning a fragment. Do that lately, where they're doing the. Founder packs, uh, Dauntless is the same thing. Fragment is half drained. With Dauntless, you can get a Founder pack, or you can just sign up for the beta and hope you kind of get in. Which, you know, I'm okay with that sort of method. I'm in a bit of trouble here. This, uh, <clears throat> Ally is draining a fragment. I did die. He, he outplayed me there, but my turret should uh, hopefully hurt him a bit. So the other thing that's kind of interesting and kind of cool that I like about this game is that it's got this sort of 70s pulp sci-fi thing going on, and it's, it's really mixed in with magic and the science. Um, I don't have the creature yet, but there's a... or the Eternal yet. So this one is like a science Eternal, Enemy's and then final fragment is now vulnerable. also other, other Eternals, like there's one that's a... Um... Oh, that didn't work out, did it? There's one that's like a magic, that's like a woman that shoots a starfish. She's like a healer. And that's like her thing, she's the game's healer. Um, I think it's, it's a good, there's a good variety. So there, I activated reinforced gizmos. Final enemy fragment is half drained. Enemy's last fragment is at critical. So now we're basically just trying to stay under their ba on their base here and siphon their fragment. Um, this is not the mode that I like. Uh, there's also a deathmatch mode that I think is a lot better than this this game uh, than this game mode. This game mode feels odd, awkward. It feels like it was supposed to be a MOBA and then they decided that the towers weren't going to shoot, which makes it not a MOBA. And then so instead you just have to kind of stand on them. I don't know. It just feels very strange. Um, I think maybe if they really want to do a territories capture like this, maybe it would be a better option to set it up as like a straight territories capture kind of thing. I know where it goes. Attack time expired. Like, right now, it just sort of feels awkward. Five minutes. I don't know how end. else to describe it really, other than it just feels really awkward like this. And it's only five on five combat, and the maps are pretty big, so like, Enemy. there's a lot of time. Um, there really is a lot of a lot of time to, to kind of go around and just not really do much. Um, that's the shotgun, the shotgun skull guy. He uh, he hit me pretty good. I don't know. You can see there. It looked to me like he was shooting at a wall, but guard your fragment. He hit me nonetheless. So it's funny. Some of these people I recognize. I played a little bit last night just to try to get far enough in the game to talk about it while we were playing it and I uh, recognize some of these guys from just from playing last night there we go we got them so one of the things that happens in this game that uh, I kind of hate um, truthfully is that people will shoot through alleys like what I was just doing there and uh, they do it because they know there's gonna be enemies there and so that makes it like super difficult I don't remember killing a guy, but I guess maybe the turret did it. Uh, since we do have to defend this fragment for like another 40 seconds, we're going to put a heavy disruptor turret up here too. And that's going to that's gonna be two big heavy turrets over here that are going to defend this side if they come this way. If they're smart, they'll come this way though. Controls are pretty standard, we have Your a crouch. Your fragment is being siphoned. 
a jump, everything we need. Um, this guy has a jetpack, so his he's got a bit more of a jump. Because uh, his jetpack. This game is so broke. And it's hard to disagree. So we level up our turrets here. Defense successful. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now we can put on the auto repair. Unfortunately, I'm not one of my devices, so I don't get auto repaired. In sight. Ooh, Turk got a headshot. Those turrets are doing mad damage over here, man. They're just lighting people up. I'm about to jump out of the level. Enemy's last right fragment here. is vulnerable. Just want to get these guys good to go, and then we'll head this way. So, boost lets you boost three times total. Uh, doesn't? I wish it was more like uh, regular jetpack management, where it just sort of drains slowly. But you know, can't have everything. Uh, you do notice that I can only have two Enemy's guns at once. Last fragment destroy. So if I have. Uh, if I have more than one card pertaining to a weapon, I have great plans for you, champion. Then I end up losing the other one. So, like, if I activated another weapon while I had two weapons, I would lose that weapon. Here you can see the experience to the next. Kind of the scoreboard's in the way. You can see experience to the next level. Um, I didn't get a lot of experience that round, only a thousand. Um, I was not super high on our team. I'm way at the bottom down here. Um, We'll get into another match and see. I think we'll play one more. Hopefully, we get a death match. If not, then you'll get you'll get to see another territories match. Uh, and that's basically all there is to the game. It's it's pretty in alpha state at the moment. Almost. Uh, this is the other map. We actually have uh, three, four maps in rotation already. Um, this one is like a castle, spooky, spooky medieval castle. Uh, there's a western map, and there is a. Uh, the, the, the ice map. Objective. You kind of just saw the frozen ice map. So uh, I'm gonna try to switch to the other soldier to the soldier class when I can here. Uh, I can't switch in the beginning of the game, in between lobbies, which I'm assuming is something they're going to be working on because there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to switch between lobbies. Uh, sometimes you can put stuff down and sometimes you can't. That's kind of kind of sucky. We're just gonna take that and run away. Oh, we are getting shot a lot. That didn't work out very well for me. <laughs> I got shot a lot. Um, I like how the external halt button pops up every time. That just opens the abilities, by the way. Alright, let's let's see if we can we can switch heroes now. No, nope, we cannot. So cards wise, eventually, in theory, you'll unlock uh, dozens of different cards and there'll be lots of different options for Neutral builds. fragment is half drained. Oh nice, we got a healer, so we're we're pretty much destroying them right now. Um, and that helps a lot with balancing Neutral for cards because at the critical. moment I must say that the game feels a little bit unbalanced. Um, Center objective captured. Towards people that may have been playing a bit longer. There's not, a, like I said, there's not a lot of people in the game, um, and that helps. But the ones that are in the game, some of them feel super. I'm not moving game. What do you? Uh, this must not be a surface here. This should help. Which is too bad because I would really like to put a turret there. What about up here? Put a turret up here. No, that sucks. Drain the enemy fragment. Yeah, no one else is going Ally to... is siphoning a fragment. I don't know where the enemy team even went. They're not even down there, really. Enemy fragment is half drained. Like, there's really no advantage to me being up here. I'm just kind of chilling. That I can shoot down. And actually. A fragment is being drained. Getting hit quite badly at the moment. They have two fragments left. I'm 
trying to drop that disruptor turret. There we go. Disruptor turret is pretty powerful if I can repair it before it gets blown up. Oh, and I got. I was just outside the healing. The healing is that that blue aura there. Let's see. We can switch now. Let's switch over to um to winter. Oh, too late. Oh, I was resurrected. Siphon energy from enemy fragments. Okay, well, Teammate can't, can't be upset about that. I literally got resurrected, so. And we are we are face we are face wrecking at the moment. This is an AOE heal right here, so. Enemy fragment is half drained. Did I get a turret there so that it should probably hurt him pretty badly before he. Because he killed me, but I'm not too upset about that as long as the turret can do some damage. And my team keeps doing the, the draining. There's some, some very useful and excellent dialogues in this game that, that make me uh, feel. make me always laugh. Uh, he's like, oh, this this guy, his character is like a spaceman, like a Buzz Lightyear type, you know. So he says all kinds of interesting lines about, you know, how he likes not being dead and whatnot. It's it's, it's character, it's color, right? You know, it's a little bit of character in the game. So now we're going to try to go and grab their last fragment. And if we can grab their last fragment, we win. This is a healing starfish. Final enemy fragment is half healing. drained. Final enemy fragment is at critical. They may have just given up at this point. I don't think we'll actually be able to get our destructor turret out before the game ends. Enemy's final fragment yeah, destroyed. That's, that's it, we win. Um Right now, one of the biggest problems that I have with this game is that everything feels really one-sided. You um, are victorious! Not, uh... Like, I hate losing, I hate winning, but, you know, it's not fun to be on the other side of that. So, we should get enough experience to get us up to the next level, I hope. No, not enough. Alright, well, we're not gonna play another one. Let's, uh, let's go back to the scoreboard. Even though that was, like, a really quick game. So let's head back to the scoreboard. Uh, I have showed you guys pretty much everything except for these card games. So let's take a look at the cards themselves. Uh, so we have cards. These are our cards. Um, right now I don't have that many. There are a lot more in the game. Uh, they do not have rarities, but they do have character assignments. So like this one is for the, the Trident Girl, who, the healer, Nautica. And um, this one is for the Ray, the combat engineer. And this one is for Winter. And you can see that by the emblem on the left. Um, I don't have a lot of cards, I've only gotten a couple of packs and a couple of starter decks, but as you go through the game, you'll be able to get many, many, many more. Uh, we can sort them by global cards, uh, dread cards, nautica cards, ray cards, and winter cards. I have some dread cards, even though I haven't unlocked dread's starter deck, they just came out of a random pack. I um, mean, you do need to have a certain number of cards available for a character to build the deck, which is 24, so um, 23 uniques currently in both for three Eternals. When you create a deck, uh, let's create one for Nautica, you will be given 12 spots here, and you can place the cards however you would like. They will come up in the order that you place them. So if you want to do all healing, you can do all healing. If you want to do all damage, you can do all damage. Now, that's not really relevant to me at the moment because I don't have any of that stuff. Uh, and lastly, let's take a look at this store. Um, they are selling packs and things already uh, because got to make that money. So you can buy booster packs with the in-game earned currency. This is the in-game earned currency. Um, you can buy card packs. These are cosmetics. They're not selling anything that powers you up unless you consider card packs to be a power-up. Um, they're selling cosmetics. These are weapon skins, basically. Game pieces, uh, which show on the board. Uh, consumables, unfortunately they are selling uh, some consumables that will give you additional experience so uh, you can buy a little bit faster, uh, yourself in a little bit faster. Uh, and then you can go to tokens and founders packs. Uh, they're off screen so I'm not going to look at them too much, but here you can buy tokens 
That's the uh, the gold currency on the bottom left. And then you can buy, these are the founder packs. Um, I have just the first version. So the only options I have are to upgrade, which the original pack like, costs 40, so upgrade costs 30. And then each of these comes with different things. Um, so they're going to be adding cosmetics, lots of cosmetics, of course, because you've got to make that money. And uh, be selling all kinds of different, uh, they'll be selling all kinds of different cosmetic items and, of course, packs. And uh, when I was able to speak to the developers at PAX West, they said they're going to be making new cards and new packs all the time. Uh, also, I didn't get any before we started making this video, but there are holographic cards. They're not more rare or anything, they just look pretty. Um, just like you would be in a traditional card game where, you know, your, rare, your holographic rares don't do anything better. They just are holographic, so they're just very pretty. Uh, and that's about it. Um, overall, I, I'd say this is one to keep your eye on. It's not uh, done. It's definitely in a not done state. I think it needs a lot of work. The servers need some work. There's some definite lag. There's a lot of bugs. But this is a beta. Um, and they're not talking about early access yet. Digital Streams isn't. They're just talking about beta. So let's give it uh, you know, a, a few months and see where it comes up. I'm sure it'll be at PAX East uh, again when next year starts. And we'll see it then. We'll take a look at it then. Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe if you enjoyed this. We'll have lots more first look contents, lots more great games coming up.